All right, everyone, here we go. It's the weekly reading. I love these. I'm going to love it this week. This is the week of December 12th through the 18th, 2021. It's sort of an overlap of last week because I ran through the 12th last week. I usually only do Sunday through Saturday. So we got some extra power here. This is a week that shows us the 1212. That opens with the 1212 symphony, right? And then it blends out afterward. That energy remains. There's life before 1212 and life after it, just like with the eclipse. And that happened earlier in the month. It's a big week. It's a week that leads up to a Venus retrograde on the 19th. And it's also a week that sees Mars and Mercury changing signs, affecting the energy a little bit. Mars moving into a fire sign where it just loves it. So, uh, Sagittarius. And Mercury moving into Capricorn. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. I'm going to paint a picture of the soulmate cycle. One card for each sign, three clarifiers for each card. Watch everything, all of it. This, ain't it. this is not your horoscope. It's not astrology. We're painting a picture of the whole cycle. And we'll have the universe added up at the end, but make sure you write down or make a note of anything I say and in any of the 12 cards, whether they're in your sign or not, all right? And you add it up for yourself. You get yourself a little personal reading, basically. Okay, here's my pre-shuffle just for fun. I thought I'd show it to you. Well, what the hell, I thought. Yeah. I said, well, so what's going on this week, universe? Just give me a little pre-shuffle on this. Nine swords, look, look, look. Yeah, the 1212 energy, you all watched my 1212 part two reading and part one. You know how the energy is affecting the other side and you. Everybody, right here, on the other side in particular, because I'm drawn on the incoming energy, a nine of swords. It, it's fear of communication, birds of communication, the birds are flying, they're, they're all scattered around in the air. This person's worried, nine swords, pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. About what? About ten pentacles. About whatever those ten pentacles are on their side. Stability, long term, all of that. And w what they missed on your side, probably, for a lot of you. Okay, it's, it's a double-edged sword. They're, it's all positive energy. So they're being forced to look at stuff. And with Mars going into a fire sign, it's going to cause someone to think, hmm, what should I do? Seven of Cups. going to cause a lot. There's going to be a lot of confusion in the air. Mostly on the runner side. Okay, you're going to be picking up on it, Divine Feminine. Okay, so be cool. Remember what I told you the other day. I said, just keep telling yourself, it's just a 12-12 energy. Keep telling yourself that it's not it's not you it's it okay all right there's going to be some confusion for sure all right let's go let's shuffle the deck here one card. i'm going to use the little light seer and the little animal deck to clarify uh one card for each sign give me the uh energies here for this week universe the 12th through the 18th of december let's let's go give me a reading here it knows what i mean by that it knows i want one card for each sign i just do the verbal stuff it's, theater for you really uh, you know all these things i'm doing here come from my intuition i just put it right out to the universe it knows what i want all right here we go let's see what we got here you ready overall <laughs> i love tarot overall energy the card at the bottom of the deck the card that's affecting everything that's going to fall here from this little light seer deck is the queen of tits. It's all about the divine feminine, right? Now, I'm reading the incoming energy. That nine of swords, all about you. That ten of uh, pentacles from the pre-shuffle, all about you. Could have had that, would have, could have, should have. And that seven of cups, that confusion, the choices, the options, what the hell am I going to do? All about you. The queen of tits. The best tits in the tarot. It's right there. And most of you, if not all of you, I hope by now, but most of you found yourself worth a little bit, right? You've grown. Your energy's getting stronger. Yeah, this person better come right. I think they know it. I think that's why that Nine of Swords was there. If they want to come in and try to get it again, they better, they better come right. Okay. Aries, you ready? Let's do it. Come on. Aries, here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Still, it's stopped. It's, they got hit with the stun gun. All right? They're coming towards you. They want to. Somebody's coming towards you with some kind of offer. Something's coming towards you with some kind of offer. They've been wasting a lot of time getting there. 
he's not on, not only not on the horse, he's probably walking in, you know, zigzag patterns and think backtracking and going forward and then back and forward. But right now the energy is stopped. All right, let's find out why. Cause I love this part where we clarify. Well, let's see what we got here for the angle of Aries, or as I tell the universe, number one. The universe only understands numbers. It don't know what the word Aries means. That's made up by man. You got to assign, if you're going to pull on signs, you got to assign something the universe understands. Tell it where the angle is and say this is number one. So I say Aries for you, but in my head, in my intuition in particular, I say number one. And it knows what I mean by that because I've set those parameters long ago for having to pull on signs here on YouTube. Why is the uh, Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, it's still right now the three of wands. I mean, soon it heads towards the four of wands, right? That's the crossing energy. But it's still in the light seer deck. It's our girl with the surfboard just standing there looking at the water. Well, I'm right. Oh, I ain't gonna read energy wrong today. I had leftover bacon. We're good. Six of swords. Uh, very slow energy. This is the second slowest energy. This is the third slowest. Slowly, I said slow. Rewind. I said slowly coming towards you. They see you as the calmer waters. Somebody does. I don't know. There's a lot of fear here. Fear is why they're stopped. How, fear of how you're going to react. Oh, it's, it's those what ifs. You, if you get in your head too much, somebody's holding back right now. Probably thinking about how they're going to get it. They're probably nervous about these tits. Male or female. It probably are. What's underneath that? You know, just for fun. Yeah, eight of pentacles underneath that. Somebody somebody wants to work on things. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Uh, Taurus. Let's see where we go here. Taurus. All right. My camera's still working? Good. Just, you, you never know with this fucking thing. Hermit. For Taurus. Hermit. Standing still. Still. Frozen. We got two deer in the headlights here. Okay. All right. But somebody is figuring something out. Somebody, at least in your case, Taurus, is still, but they're in the hermit cave. And the little light bulb is starting to go off. I know we're dealing with somebody on the Taurus angle who made a stupid decision to move away from Taurus. Uh, or this soulmate connection. Uh, I said, I've, I've been saying since that energy crept in that they're going to figure it out. We often learn very quickly when we made a mistake. Think about when you're driving, you turn down the wrong road. You, at first, you think you made the okay turn, and then you start to realize, wait a second, I just drove by a prison. That, that ain't right. They didn't put an elementary school next to a prison. I must be on the wrong road. And once you realize that, you stop. You stop the car. Well, unless you're like me, then you do a Duke Boys turnaround and, you know, kind of a thing like that. But... Most people stop the car, ask their mapping system, what the fuck's going on? All right. Why, why is this hermit here? Yes, yeah, somebody fucked up. Uh, three of swords crossing this. Uh, somebody was looking for an elementary school and drove past a prison and said, I might be on the wrong road. Okay, it's a good analogy. It really is. Okay. Uh, yeah, seven of pentacles or seven of cups. I'm sorry. What do I do now? Right? The seven, what, what do I do now? You know, you, they stop the car. They go, okay, I got to look at this map again. Right? Stop. It's all stops. It's all just uh, stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car. I made a mistake. Oh, no. Yeah, somebody chose wrong and they figured it out. They stopped on the side of the road trying to figure out and look at the map and figure out how to get back around. We're going to see a turnaround on this very soon, I promise you. Gemini, I've been tracking this. <laughs> I can't wait to pull your mid-month reading. I told you all I'm going to be pulling mid-months this month. I only do them mid-months when the energies are right for it. Obviously, the energies are very powerful right now, so I'm doing mid-months. They'll start going up tomorrow, okay? Right up through about the 15th. They'll all be online by then, okay? Gemini, Seven of Pentacles. Stopped. Standing still. Deer. In, I got three deer in headlight. You picking up a theme, everyone? Stop. Oh shit. Taking taking a look back. What I do? What did I do? Oh, I love this reading. Oh, this is hilarious. I love this. 
I expected some shit. I did. Okay. Just it, it this is the after effect of the 1212. Right? Yesterday's one card for each sign was before. It was still before the energy. This is after it. This is after it and Mars and Mercury are moving. I mean, it, it's fucking wild. Okay, so, so far, if you're all writing down things that mean something to you for each sign, you should just have the word stop on your piece of paper. Uh, <laughs> deer in the headlights. Uh, okay, seven of pentacles. Somebody might be waiting for the right moment here. I feel that a little bit in the energy. It's not a lot. I think they're just thinking back, what did I do? How do I fix this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a stop. It's like a red light, okay? And you know that light's going to turn green, but you're sitting there in your car, you're futzing around with something, and it's one of those moments, it, I said about the timing, right? It's one of those moments where you're futzing around with something at the red light, and the light turns green, but you have to wait, but you don't go, and the people behind you are honking, right? Yeah. Eight of Wands, forward movement's going to come out of nowhere. It's that moment, out of nowhere where this person reaches out. It's that moment out of nowhere where this person reaches out. It's that moment where you start going at the green light, even though it turned green 10 seconds earlier, but you were futzing with something in the car. Okay? All right, what's on top, High Priestess? They're feeling this on a high level. Their intuition is driving now because their brain ain't bright enough to drive the car. And that's one of the things that while they're stopped here, they realize he got time to think about how he feels, right? He got time. You shouldn't be thinking about how you feel, but he got time to feel how he feels, right? While they're looking back. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Uh, somebody, somebody's figuring it out. It's that kind of message again. This is someone who breadcrumbed you, who's now knowing that, oh shit, I had better, their intuition is screaming at them, I need to fix this, I need to make this right. And they just take off out of nowhere. Okay. Cancer. Come on out from under the table, Cancer. You can keep your pants off, though. So we've got stop deer in the headlights, stop deer in the headlights, stop deer in the headlights with various other stories on top. And we go to the hot spot of the connection. And the entire top row is stop deer in the headlights. Four of pentacles. Stop. Fear. Fear. Stop holding back. Whoa, what do I do? That's all I get off of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the card of the miser. They don't want to spend the money. Whoa, whoa, I ain't taking no $100 bill out of that mattress. No, no, no. Okay. They just stopped. Resting bitch face with a nice headdress. Okay. Why is the four of uh, pentacles here for cancer? Why is the four of pentacles here? Jesus Christ, I've never seen anything like this. Stop, 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 stop. Everybody deer in the headlight. And that's, that's not surprising. This is what the 1212, the 1212 in particular, because we're just about at the end of the week to head into a Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde is going to make all these people turn their car around. Every single one of these people is looking for an elementary school and they just drove back past the prison and realized, oh shit, right? They ain't going to put no elementary school here. I turned down the wrong road. They stopped. They're going to turn around and come back. Uh, I, I firmly... I firmly believe that 87% of a lot of you hearing from somebody in, in here in December or early January is pretty fucking accurate. I can't wait to pull your mid-months. I cannot wait. Four of Pentacles, why are we here? Yeah. Uh, there is some sort of, and I don't always say it with this, there's some sort of third energy here stopping this. The Three of Cups here, what's the feeling? Yeah. There is, they need to get rid of something. The King of Swords is fueling it. They need to get rid of something before they can come forward. I don't know what the details are. I have no idea. It could be a marriage. It could be within them. It could be a family. It could be a job. This person is more focused on their pentacles and their stopping or whatever the third energy is. And you're going to have to apply it to your story. There's too many people watching. And then they, oh my God. All they want to do is go forward. There, every inch, this is Major Arcana, it's the Chariot, it is a Cancer Energy card in the Cancer position. They want to talk to you, but they're deer in the headlights, they're stopped. They've, they've stopped themselves. Okay, and they, I think they do that a lot. 
Yeah, Queen of Swords, they've got to cut. It's a repeat message from the King of Swords that's underneath the Three of Cups. In order to open up to you, they've got to get rid of something else. They've got to deal with something. I don't know what that is. I suspect they're going to deal with it very soon. I feel that in the energy with the chariot here. They're ant they got ants in their pants. Okay? All right. Leo. Oh, God, please don't be toxic. Please don't be toxic. Okay. Stop, 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 stop with various stories on top. We start a new row. Stop. It's three, three of one. It, honest to God. Honest to fucking God. I shit you not. Yeah, well, the Empress can stop people in their tracks. The 12 12 energy is making people feel this. Three of wands. Soon. Somebody, she's just. Should I go? Should I go? Should I do it? But this person, I can't tell you apart from your soulmate, Leo, so I say somebody for Leo, but somebody here has been at this cliff before. She's been out here before. In fact, she got there when it was daylight, and she'd been standing there so long thinking about going in the water that, that she had to light the torches. Okay? Why is the Three of Wands here for my Leo? Why? Why, 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 why? Oh, God. Oh, son of a bitch. It's the same fucking thing over and over again. I want to meet this person. I do. I do. I want, I want to go over there and I want to have a... I want to just shake them. If this isn't you, Leo. If, if, if it's you and you're a fan of Steve's Love Tarot, I would not shake you. Okay? I smack you upside the head, but I would not shake you. Right here is the King of Wands crossing this. The Burger King. Just... That's all I got to say. Those of you who've been here long enough, you know what the Burger King is. Got to have it their way. This is a person who, I swear to God, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to fucking do it. Nine of Pentacles. They need to, they're on the precipice of getting themselves, finding their independence, getting themselves single and free to pursue. On the precipice of it. They know, she knows she wants to go in the water. She knows it. The King of Wands behavior, ego, pride. Ego, pride. I got a blog article coming up on ego and pride. All right. Including uh, a nice little picture of me. Mm -hmm. How about that? It, it's included in the article. It's, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's not a recent picture, though. Uh, why is the nine of pentacles here? Seven of pentacles. Stopped. Sitting on hands. They're sitting on their hands. In a codependent situation, they need to find their independence. Stubborn, pride, ego, you fucking name it, gotta have it your way. Burger King bullshit. It's the same fucking shit. Oh, I can't wait to pull your mid-month. You know my Leo read. Everybody should watch my Leo readings. They are better than anything you will see on TV. Because I go off. <laughs> I lose it. Okay. Oh, do, seriously, do you want to pass up these tits? For whatever shit is on that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Virgo. <sighs> Virgo. Virgo. <sighs> I got nothing here. You have, and I said this to you in a recent uh, energy update I did for you. The longer the time goes by, you have a manifestation that's, that's, that's set to come in for you. Something that you wanted a long time ago is going to show up. The more time that passes, the more somebody is worried that you remember something that happened. They're hoping you'll forget and that they could just glaze over it and, you know, try again kind of thing. The more time that passes, the more likely you are to hear from your person. It's very clear in the energy. It's super clear in the energy. It's ridiculous. Why is the star here? Jesus Christ. Uh, just watch your last energy update. It's it's online. All right. It's cool. Let's see here. Um, but pay attention to your mid-month that I'm going to pull as well. Mm, the star. Why is it here? Yeah. Uh, the uh, Queen of Wands. Fakie McFakerman. It's crossing this. This manifestation that's coming in could be your soulmate person. I don't know. It might be something else. Maybe you wished for a turtle or something. I have no fucking idea. Uh, a manifestation you made a long time ago, a wish that you put out a long time ago, is about to show up very soon. 
because they think enough time has passed or whatever. They're showing up phony ass. Fake, 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 fake. Pretense. Pretending everything's good. It's, use the analogy I gave you in your recent energies update. Where you run into somebody somewhere and you're all, and they're, you know, everybody's all hugs and whatever. But really, you're remembering back to what happened. They're hoping you don't. It's the same message. It's the same thing. Yeah, they're holding on to a lot of love for you. A lot of fantasy love, it could be. But it's, it's, it's a sealed cup. All right, so whatever this wish, this manifestation is, it has to do with love, and it's, 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 it's coming your way, Le uh, Virgo. I don't want to say Leo again. You, you <laughs> yeah. Freudian slip, right? All right, the uh, Five of Pentacles here. Yep. Somebody's coming out of the cold. Somebody's coming out of the cold. Somebody, it, it, and again, I'm going to tell you, that they're fake as shit when they show up. Make sure you see through it. Make sure this person's changed and they're not. Because you have. Make sure. You, I know you've grown. All right. Libra. Knight of Wands. Well, that's forward movement. Now we're starting to see something here. Ah, uh, Somebody's. I think this 12-12 energy, I think in part, Mars movement in particular, I'm getting off of this. Uh, is uh, making somebody, is giving somebody some bravery to take a move towards you. Let's see, why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Oh, uh, yeah. Bo <laughs> Look at the three cards at the bottom. A Knight of Wands again, the Five of Wands, and the Emperor at the bottom. Alright? The Burger King, your Burger King, Right, is making a move towards you. Mm. A brave move. I got a double here. Um, they're worried you might rip their head off a little bit. They're worried about it. Worried about your reaction, maybe. I would be. I don't know. Yeah, they're coming. Uh, page of Cups. Yep, little page showing up as a page. Leaving as a knight, showing up as a page of Cups. It's a small offer. It's a little test of the waters. Well, that's understandable with the Five of Wands there. They're worried about your reaction. Okay, not a big deal. Why? Why is that? Uh, yeah, they're they're coming. Ace of Wands. Yeah, brand new. They want a new beginning. They want to start over. They're worried about your reaction. I got double Knight of Wands here. Brave, impulsive action towards you. They're worried about your reaction. And who is it? It's the fucking Burger King. They are going to try to maybe have it their way a little bit. That's probably why they dumb it down to a, a page. Okay. Uh, you know, it really is a test the waters thing. The emperor doesn't like to be rejected. Male or female, the emperor's got some ego, right? And the thought of you rejecting them, I think, bothers them a little bit. Even that, which is rich, because they probably rejected uh, you. Um, Scorpio, Queen of Swords. Somebody's doing a lot of thinking and realizing a lot of truths. That's what I get there. Could be you. I don't know. Let's clarify. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Somebody also got a very good deal on fancy sandals. Which could be you as well. I don't know. Why is the uh, Queen of Swords here? Why, 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 why? Okay. Yeah. Somebody has stopped. We're back to stopped. They're just contemplating. All I got off of that was thinking. Realizing some truths. They are. Nine of Wands. Okay, uh, they can't shake this connection. They know they don't want to, but they're hang hanging back behind a wall while they try to, I guess, figure it out. I don't know. But the, but the Queen of Swords does take action. She does speak the truth. It's a little bit cold. It is a card of communication. Eventually, in this case, yeah, you know, the King of Pentacles. Um, they're they're thinking about their stability. Somebody is. Could be you. Could be your person. I can't tell whose energy. It's like a swirl here. They're thinking about their stability. Okay, it could be, they could be thinking about you if it's the other person. I don't know. Let's see why the King of Pentacles is here. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Thinking about what kind of offer they're going to bring you. A lot of wasted time here. The Pentacles are time in a love reading. Often read by readers as commitment and things like that, but that's time. Uh, there's a lot of wasted time here. They know they need to come in right because you're pretty special. So they're doing some thinking if it's their energy. If it's your energy, you're thinking about your stability, Right? And how to improve it. Um, you do have something coming your way. Either way, even if, if it's your energy or their energy, you've got something coming your way. It's been taking its time getting to you. But it is coming your way. All right. 
Sagittarius. Oh my God, we were just talking about it. The Ace of Pentacles. I'll tell you the same thing. You've got something coming your way that's been taking a while to get to you. Somebody's uh, probably a little worried about bringing you something. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see why it's here. Actually, I do know, but I'm going to let the cards tell you. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here for Sagittarius? You got Mars coming in your sign on the 13th. That's going to be spectacular. That's going to make that can make a lot of Ace of Pentacles show up, and it may and it it does show why it's here. You're very close in angle proximity to Scorpio, of course. All right, let's see what we got here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, yeah, the world. Something's changing real fast. Something that's taking a long time to change is is changing. I I won't say real fast, but I will say it is changing. You've got something coming your way, okay? And it's something you want. It's something that's going to bring you, make you very happy. Ten of, of Cups. Love related. Probably. It could be career related, but it's love related. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Jesus Christ. The world crossing an Ace of Pentacles with Ten Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, if, if you're one of the Sagittarians who doesn't think they're ever going to hear from their person or their person's ever going to smarten up, uh, if this is related to your soulmate connection, it is just a general energy rolling in, so it could be anything. Uh, but either way, you got some nice shit coming your way. You got something you've been wanting that will make you very happy headed your way. Your whole world, your whole your whole world is about to change from the world, but your whole life's about to change from the wheel of fortune. The wheel of destiny is turning for you, and it's turning in a good direction based on the cards that are around it. Capricorn had me some Capricorn last night. It's a uh, Cracker Jacks. That's what I call Cracker Jacks now. All right. King of, King of Swords. Oh. Uh, gonna, I want to say the energy feels to me like you're going to find out something. Okay? Mm, that's what I get. Let's find out. Why is the King of Swords here for Capricorn? You just found out I call Cracker Jacks Capricorn. I mean, that's that's something. I hope that's not it. I hope it's something more than that. All right, why is Capricorn here? Why, okay, why is Capricorn here? Why are they here? Why is the King of Swords here? What do we got? Okay. Nine Wands. Oh. You know, well, your perseverance is paying off in some way with the King of Swords here. Yeah, it is big time. I'm right. See, I read the energy right. That's why I throw the cards so you know. I mean, it's also some verification for me. I am reading for a large number of people here. That's tricky uh, on, a, on a good day. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles here, uh, you're going to find out something that's going to affect your future positively uh, from somebody. You might find out how someone feels about you. Maybe you find out somebody does. that You do have a chance with your soulmate. I don't know, but your perseverance is about to pay off in a big way. And I say that in the Ten of Pentacles falls that's a big way yeah the eight of pentacles I think this is primarily pentacle related in a lot of ways um, I've got a lot of pentacles here I've got nine wands your perseverance this could be actually more career related for you or money related than anything else uh, something's about to come through for you uh, in, in on that front. If it is soulmate energy related, it's someone who's coming in from a very practical perspective. Okay, in other words, they want to talk about practically how is this going to work? How can we make this work? That kind of a conversation rather than I love you, you got you know this and that and the other. Thing. It's you know it is what it is. Capricorn, that's what I got. Uh, Aquarius. Uh oh. Three swords from my fellow Aquarians. Nah, that's incoming energy. Somebody is uh, feeling the pain here. The twelve twelve energy is causing somebody to uh, to feel the loss of you, basically. All right? I don't know. There's two slashes in the heart here. They may have suffered a loss. I don't know. Let's see. Um, it's incoming energy, though. Three of swords. Why is it here? Why is Kurt Cobain showing up for Aquarius? Uh, two of Pentacles. Uh, mm, somebody's sitting on the fence about it. It's causing somebody to, to waver on their decision. Yeah, Sitting still, doing a lot of thinking. You're one of the sit-stills. Deer in the headlights. 
They, I, I didn't. I checked the card underneath the Two of Pentacles because I wasn't sure. Sometimes it's somebody making a decision. Or sometimes it's somebody not. In this case here, they're just going back and forth. They can't get out of the pain. They can't get out of the loss. They can't get out of the, oh, what did I do kind of thing. What's up top? Yeah, temperance. Um, it's, it's the angel energy of 1212, the 1212 portal, that positive energy like I talked about on the part two reading, right, for 1212. Um, it's that energy that's causing, for your person in particular, it's causing them to feel uh, 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 sort of an I fucked up kind of moment. It's forcing them just to look at the pain. Could be pain within them that they, ha they have never addressed as well, which is what probably caused them to run from you in the first place. Yeah, death. And it's causing transformation within them because of it. And that makes sense. Any psychologist will tell you we have to look at the pain. We have to deal and address with the past pain. Otherwise, we don't transform, right? It's forcing them to look at it, and it's a lot of angel energy. That's good news for you if you want if you want this person to wake the fuck up, or at least acknowledge, you know, how they feel. Uh, Pisces. <laughs> Pisces always get like the magic. I tell you, it's crazy. It is the twelfth sign. It is as we paint the picture. This is Bob Ross signing the painting right here, Pisces. Right. That's how I kind of view it. Right here, the Hierophant. Yeah. Um, wow. It's a spiritual awakening of some kind. That's, what, uh, that's how I feel it. I'm drawn, as far as the card goes, to this little light up here. Um, somebody's, having a, somebody's having a wakey wakey. Uh, let's see why this is here. I know why it's here, uh, but I'm going to let the cards talk. Um, but I have a feeling I know what's going on here. The Hierophant. Why is it here? The Hierophant. Why is it here for my two fish? Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we talked about this. Uh, it is the goat with its feet on fire. <laughs> the devil crossing the Pope. The devil is... It's the battle of angel versus the devil within someone. Someone is getting themselves out of something toxic. This is a message that keeps coming up for you. You are somehow inextricably tied to Leo's angle of this soulmate cycle. It, 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 except Leo's person is, is a fuckwad who is sitting there in one goddamn spot and just keeps allowing it to happen by looking away and not paying attention and, and, and thinking about something else and distracting themselves. Your person is dealing with the toxic energy. It's very, very clear. Yep, it's very clear. The King of Cups and... The Ten of Swords, something that is, this connection to your person has spiritually awakened them, okay? Um, something that is, well, they, these two cards can say they're putting an end to themselves not being vulnerable. It's opened them up, shall we say. However, the energy here, if I were to read it clean, is simply something that doesn't have any love to it on their side, where the love is just sort of dripped, you know, at them. Uh, is coming to an end. Something's coming to an end, and I think somebody's coming your way, um, for sure. Uh, no doubt about it. Mm. Underneath that devil, by the way, is the uh, Two of Pentacles. Mm. Underneath the devil, the Two of Pentacles, is somebody who's making a decision who realizes, and I see them spiritually awakened here. That's I felt that as soon as I threw that card. Let's take the large animal deck, and let's, let's, let's have the universe add up the week for us. I told you, that 1212 portal, this is the universe's grand finale. It's trying to get this wave of the cycle balanced as much as it can before the next wave comes in. The next wave is rolling in. It used, the cycles usually follow uh, the movement of Jupiter. Okay, The next wave is coming in, I say during Pisces season, because sometimes it takes a little bit. There is no time in the energy. But Jupiter is moving into Pisces on, Dece on December 28th or 29th, depending on where you live. And I think in January, we're going to have some overlap here of the wave that didn't come together. And then the universe got a real problem on its hand. There's like a traffic backup here in the soulmate cycle. It's, it's backed up. It's a traffic jam. People are sleeping in their cars, pooing in buckets on the side of the road. Because these, 
it, it's been the cycle as I told someone the other day the cycle's been messed up when this cycle came in COVID messed messed things up and people couldn't come together in wave one then wave two rolled in and we had a wave one backup on top of wave two and now we got wave three coming in and we still have that back we have the universe hasn't been able to clear the blockages you know because we got fuckwits it in certain places you know who are not doing anything not doing what they're supposed to be doing it really is a cycle where one side did what they were supposed to and the other side didn't and I've never seen it on this level I do think this is the most difficult soulmate cycle that's probably ever existed it's the best I can imagine Give me three cards and a bottom card, universe. Add this up. Let's go. Add this week up. What's all this mean? What's all this mean? All right. I got it. Oh, I see the bottom card. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. And the uh, Page of Cups. The Ten of Wands, it's red center, left, right. The Ten of Wands is crossed by the Three of Cups. And underneath that, I shit you not, is the Burger King. It's the Burger King. What we've got, I, I, I described the traffic jam to you as best I can. You know, I, I Sesame Streeted it up, but I basically described a traffic jam where the traffic is so backed up, people are sleeping in their cars. I think they had something like that recently in China where people were sleeping in their cars and pooing in buckets on the side of the road. The traffic jam was just going nowhere. That's this soulmate cycle. That's what it is. And it's all getting jammed up by more fucking Burger King restaurants than I've seen, right? We got plugged toilets up and down the fucking freeway. And it's, it's, it's just one, I, I, I picture in my head one person at the, front of the, at the whole front of the traffic jam who's causing the whole thing, who's got his car parked sideways blocking the entire freeway because he's a stubborn, uh, proud, fucking egomaniac who's like, nope. I just decided I want it my way. I don't feel like driving today. I'm going to park my car here and jam up this for miles. You know, it, it really is. That's the image in my mind, and that's what's happening here. This week, the energy adding this up, the Three of Cups is somebody, is the 1212 energy making the Burger King, the one with the car parked sideways, jamming everybody up because they're an egomaniac fuckwit proud and you know what stubborn making them realize that they need to open up they need some closure here they're realizing they need closure okay the divine feminine has needed some closure for a long time now closure can mean closure or it can mean you get together with the person i don't know but somebody is getting in their feels and most of them don't like it that's why they're stopped like a deer in the headlights but most of them if not all of them are getting in their feels Someone, a police officer or whatever, is talking some sense into the Burger King and saying, look, it's wrong of you to park your car here like this. I, you know, I mean, it's kind of a bad, you know. It's that kind of energy. This Three of Cups, that, what I just described to you, is causing a great deal of burden, a, a snapping point, a breaking point within the runner's side, the side that's jamming this up. It's causing a breaking point. It's also causing fears and past things to come. It's causing them to freeze up because they don't know what to do. It's ten wands mixed with four pentacles. It's minor arcana because it's up to their free will to, to do something about it. But the 1212 energy is making them feel. And, the, and it, it feeling causes them a lot of pain. It causes them a lot of burden. This does reset to an ace of wands, a new beginning. It does. Right? We saw that for one of the signs, Libra, I believe. But a lot of this is deer in the headlights fear. It's causing the great mighty emperor, come kneel before Zod. I will park my car sideways because I'm a fucking prick and nobody drives because I don't feel like driving. To downshift to a goddamn page with the tail between the legs. They're in their fields. They're starting to figure it out. It, these energies have been around before or these, they've been in their fields before but these energies are the universe's grand finale here on this. This is its last chance to get the Burger King to move its fucking car. And for a lot of you, it's going to cause forward movement. And a lot, it's going to bring them back to you. They are showing up as a page. 
But I will say, I think with this week, this is very accurate. I think next week, when we include the Venus retrograde, which I will pull a reading on, by the way, for all signs. When we pull the Venus retrograde reading or when we pull next week's re weekly reading and we see what happens with the Venus retrograde influence, I think we're going to see the car turning around and the traffic jam starting to move a little bit. All right. That's the best I can tell you. That's what's going on. And it's all, all of it, all of it about you, the Empress, the Divine fucking feminine. The best tits in the tarot, male or female, even if they're chicken tits. It doesn't matter. It's still tits. Tits or tits, right? There you go. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. If I help one person today, I've done my job. I think I've helped quite a few. Uh, I put my stamp on this. This is a clean energy read. I'm on fire today. Right? I'm home alone again. I'm Macaulay Culkin, home alone on a Saturday. Anything can fucking happen. This is a clean read. All right, this is it makes perfect sense too based on the energies. I encourage everybody to make sure you watch my twin uh, the uh, 1212 part two at the very least, but part one and two will be helpful to you along with that eclipse reading from earlier in the month. Uh, your mid months are going to start hitting tomorrow, all right, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Now, that will obviously include some of the Venus retrograde energy, so that's pretty cool. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Have a good Saturday, and have a good week, everyone.